city steeped in history, Pakistan offers valuable diversity in terms of cultural heritage and historical significance. Many of the sites in the country are amazing indications of the progressive communities that inhabited this place. The architecture of the country speaks loudly about the country's history as well as its cultural roots. Its grand past is visible everywhere, as shown by the fantastic old imperial buildings, palaces and mosques. The northern mountains of Pakistan features prominently in most travel plans, but there are many more destinations with valuable historical significance that are yet to be discovered and explored. The country is home to a plethora of fascinating ancient ruins, from crumbling cities to temples that have withstood the test of time. Many of these ancient societies were incredibly innovative and forward-thinking. Some of the most captivating ancient ruins are full of thousand-year-old mysteries that will boggle even the most curious of minds. One such development is the Nandanu Fort, perched on a strategic hilltop overlooking the Salt Range in the district of Jhelum. The fort was built in the 8th century during the Hindu Shahi dynasty. The fort was the scene of many epic battles and holds echoes of centuries old civilizations. In the 11th century, Al Biruni, the Persian scholar, variously called as the founder of Pandology and the first anthropologist, paid a visit here. The polymath, known for his travels and writings, had come to India with Mahmud of Ghazni when he invaded the subcontinent. Al Biruni lived during a period of unusual political turmoil in the Eastern Islamic world. He served more than six different princes all of whom were known for their bellicose activities and a good number of whom met their ends in violin debts. Nevertheless, he managed to become the most original polymath the Islamic world had ever known. The genius mentioned Nandana Fort as a great center of learning in a hill fortress on the easternmost part of the Salt Range. It is a very special place, as it was here at the Nandana Fort that Al Biruni had measured the radius and subsequently the circumference of the earth with precision for the first time. The mathematical genius made this site part of the world's heritage for all times to come. Presently, all that is left behind this dynasty is a legacy of crumbling temples spread across the Salt Range, and Nandana is perhaps the most important of them all. The fort has been crumbling since long, as it had never been given any attention by the authorities concerned. However, partly inspired by a New York Times article of the Persian polymath, Prime Minister Imran Khan plans to execute this cultural heritage before the world by preserving the site and converting it into an international tourism site. He plans to make the country's first tourism map. By doing this, he's aiming to highlight this small remote area on the world map. The Prime Minister has launched the Heritage Trail project at Al Biruni Point. The trail would be the gateway to seven archaeological sites, including Nandana Fort, Shiva Temple, Tila Jogyan, Kura Salt Mines, Malod Fort, and the Throne of Balba. He wants anyone who comes here to fully experience the ambience and beauty of this place. The renovation of the fort would shine a light on Pakistan's rich archaeological heritage and draw tourists from all over the world. The restoration project is aimed at exploring and preserving Pakistan's heritage sites and restoring the ancient sites to their former glory. The transformation of the region into a tourism hub would also create employment opportunities for the locals. The government has also announced loans and other incentives for the local population to establish hotels and other tourist facilities. According to the local media, an estimated Rs 120 million had been allocated for the preservation project. Pakistan's government is focusing its efforts on preserving the country's diverse cultural and religious heritage to attract tourists and create more jobs. From hiking to paragliding, this tour will offer something for everyone. Pakistan faces enormous challenges ranging from an unbalanced economy, fragile governance, and security to rampant terrorism. 
But perhaps its greatest challenge is to restore its credibility in the eyes of the world. Positive developments like these might help change perceptions about the country.